All right, so I want to talk about proxy auto config files or PAC files in Cloud Web Security. So when you activate the web proxy service, you can generate PAC files. Uh, the system gives you a default, which is what I'm showing here, and the default just has basic instructions uh, about domains or destination IP addresses that should be bypassed or sent directly to the proxy and what happens uh, should the service be unavailable, so on and so forth. And you can get into that file by clicking on it and going into preview so you can launch it and you can see everything that's set here. So just really quickly, we can see that if any private IP address is detected, that it's just going to be sent direct. It's not going to be taken to the web proxy um, because that's a public facing service. It does not connect to your internal destinations. So there's no reason to send that traffic to the proxy. Now, let's assume the default pack file does not work for your organization for whatever reason. Um, you can create as many pack files as appropriate. Usually customers will have a couple. They may have as many as 10, um, but whatever is right for your organization. So to create a new pack file, you just simply click on new pack. Here you have to give it a name. We'll go ahead and type in roaming. And you also have to give a file name that ends in the dot dat file extension format. So once you've done that, moving on in the configuration, we have some options here. What happens when the proxy is inaccessible? So if you cannot reach the web proxy, what should your client do? Well, in this case, you've got two options, fail open or fail close. So connect direct is fail open. That means the client can continue uh, to get to the internet and interact with the web, and they're not gonna be impeded from uh, any of their activities. However, if you choose to block access, that's fail close. Now they can no longer browse the web and that could be for a much tighter security posture if that's needed. Alternatively, um, what happens when you are behind the corporate network? So you came in from home, you came in from the coffee shop, what should we do here? So you can do a simple check. Um, and what this is is basically internal uh, server name resolution. If this destination resolves to an IP address, then this is confirmation that you are on a private network and uh, your private infrastructure is already secure. Um, so you're going to have you know, your firewalls in place, your SD-WAN in place. So go ahead and send that traffic direct. Uh, let's go ahead and use a private network. Um, that's the most efficient way to get to the web. You can also uh, list custom proxies. So if you have an on-premises uh, web proxy, you can point to that as well. So as soon as you're detected uh, on-prem, you can go ahead and flip over to that web proxy that's hosted in your data center. But we'll turn that off for now and move into the next section. Okay, here um, we have basically default bypasses. So it's a very easy to turn on which services you would like to skip the proxy altogether. And you can do this for various reasons. You can do it for performance. So consider Netflix um, streaming, you know, that could, uh, take a huge performance impact if you proxy that traffic. So, you know, a bypass list is available for that. Alternatively, some of these applications may have uh, their functionality broken, um, especially if it goes through SSL decryption and it's not meant to be SSL decrypted. So you can come here and you can toggle on and off which of these services you would like to have um, bypassed or sent to the proxy. And you can even see which domains are referenced in the list by just clicking on it. You can also look at the subnet IP information, which we talked about earlier. This is basically all the private uh, IP addresses that are not routable on the public internet. And here we have the Office 365 uh, bypass configuration. So uh, Microsoft connectivity principles um, come into play here. Basically, this is referencing those domains and uh, IP destinations that they recommend should not go to a web proxy service. So you can simply click allowed and that's going to go ahead and take care of those bypasses for you and you also have the option to include your organization specific tenant so you can also account for those domains as well and lastly you have the ability to add your own custom proxy bypasses uh, whether this is a domain a subnet or a specific ip address you can go ahead and add entries that are appropriate for your organization and once you've done that, you can click finish and your pack file is going to be generated and hosted by Cloud Web Security. 
So I hope you found this video useful and I thank you for your time.